guys thank you so much for tuning in to another video so i just got finished filming my like return video after i don't know i want to say six months or something so i have been putting up videos like as constant as i would say is constantly but i haven't actually filmed in six seven months so like i was saying in my other doll video i have not stopped purchasing things since i stopped filming but things have started to become overwhelming i haven't been able to open anything so i definitely want to share it with you guys because my main thing is hauling i love hauling i love sharing and I love showing you guys what deals are out there. So this video is a little bit unique because it is showing deals, so to speak, but in an unconventional non-retail way, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to share with you today is doll content. It's more doll content. The next couple of videos will probably be more doll content because I had a Walmart haul, I have an Amazon haul, and then I have a Macy's haul coming up. And then after that, we should get into some unboxings, possibly some Squishmallows and some other stuff. But today what I have for you guys is a Facebook Marketplace doll haul also slash a facebook doll group haul if that makes sense so we'll go ahead and jump right in and i'll show you what i got so i'll go ahead and start with the facebook marketplace because i only have two things so the first one i have is i think in my last like two videos i've described how i'm obsessed with the lol omg tweens and i'm trying to get literally every single doll from every single series well i'm on my way to accomplishing that with series two because i have our girl gracie skates from series two so now i have lexi girl gracie skates i only need goldie twist and aya cherry and i'm actually looking at buying both of those very very soon so i got this from someone off facebook marketplace for a really really good deal of course like usual i will put all the details on the screen of how much i bought it for and then what it retails for but i absolutely love this one and i'm so excited to finally be showing you guys that way i could finally open her and display her because not only do i love her box art which i'll probably be saving and sticking on the wall but her doll all together is just the skin tone the hair the outfit she just melts my heart so i'm really Really excited for her and then i have a lol omg and this is just like a standard one it's not like a sports or an olympics or a special like series but this is the lol omg skate park cutie and again i got her off facebook marketplace for a really really good price absolutely love her i really am trying to get this one but i can't find her anywhere for a decent price so she's not someone i absolutely want at least like this one's not one i absolutely want so i'm not gonna pay retail this one was one i absolutely wanted but i happened to get her for a really good price so hell yeah but anyway i know a lot of people aren't fan of omg dolls i am so i absolutely love her and now we're gonna get into the good stuff so i am part of a facebook group not only for lols lol omg slash lol omg tweens i am a member of a rainbow high facebook group and i absolutely love it i have become obsessed with it i probably spend i don't know like 75 percent of my day stalking that group and then 100 percent of my day stalking the squishmallow groups that i'm part of so anyway we'll dive right into this group i have found amazing deals guys like i genuinely love this group i will say the number one rule of learning how to be in these groups is learning to identify a scam always 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 pay paypal goods and services if you don't have paypal i don't know what any other equivalent i don't know if there's venmo goods and services cash app goods and services but you need to pay goods and services that way you are protected and if you get scammed you could get your money back because girl was scammed once i've only bought things five times and i was scammed one of those times one scam every other time i was not scammed i checked i made sure that these people were legit the one time i got scammed i was so desperate for this doll that i did not check i sent him the money a month later i was like where's my doll nava they blocked me but i got my money back full refund she tried not to give me the refund but girl i screen shot it all kinds of stuff and got my refund so anyway learn and don't be desperate two things learn don't be desperate and then it'll work and you'll have a great time because I have a great time. So I don't know what to start with because like I said, I have some really, really good things. Like all four things that I'm about to show you are really good. So I guess I'll start with the things that didn't lead up to this scam. So the first one we'll start with is this Rainbow High violet willow cheer doll if you know anything about me if you have watched my channel for any number of times the amount of times that i mentioned this doll was ridiculous i never thought i was gonna find her i was going to spend 60 dollars on ebay for her and then some gentleman in my group posted if anyone was interested if not he was gonna give her a goodwill i paid less than retail but then i had to pay for shipping so she came out to retail and i absolutely love her i love her so much that i don't know if i want to take her out of the box but here we go my first prized possession this was my third purchase along with the next doll now this one this one <laughs> might be my pride and joy and i don't think i will ever take her out of the box i think she will stay in her box forever and i will sell her for a million dollars because she's practically going for a million dollars i have 
series two, Bella Parker, brand new in box, and I paid retail for her. The same man that posted this was like, does anyone want her? I'm gonna give her to Goodwill. No one commented and I was like, I'll take her. He was like, pay me retail. I was like, what's retail? He was like, $25.99 plus shipping. Together for the two of them, shipping, 10 bucks, five. So made her about 30, which is what they're going for now. If you Google her right now and I'll throw in some pictures, she is going for like a million dollars. After she arrived at my home and I sent him pictures, thanking him, telling him how much I appreciated him. He was like, I have been getting so many messages about her. I had to let them know that she was already sold. I did not know how much money she was going for. You're welcome. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna pay you more. She's already in my home. She's already sipping coffee with me. She's already being sold in my mind for a million dollars in a couple of years. So thank you, sir. And I can't believe that I did not get scammed. So this might be my prized possession. But anyways, these two I got off my Facebook group. I'm really thankful. Didn't overpay for them. I was seriously about to pay like 80, $90 for her on eBay because I'm insane, you know, whatever. Uh, same with her, but I got them. I waited, thank the Lord. I don't know why, but I had like a really weird obsession with Rainbow High. I got into it and then I like wanted ones that I didn't want because I started collecting in series one. I have all the dolls from series one. I did videos, you can go look. And then series two came. I was like, I hate the color pink. I don't want Bella. I don't want Stella. I moved away from home, had to start my collection over. All of a sudden my brain goes and I'm like, I want all these pink dolls. And they're the most expensive ones. Whatever. Anyway, got her. I love her. Next. Oh my gosh, this one. So those two, like I said, were my third purchase. Third purchase. This, this was my first ever purchase. My pride and joy, she's still wrapped up, guys. So like I said, I had to restart my collection. And I wanted a bunch that I never wanted before. And this is one that people kept talking about. And I kept wanting her after I couldn't find her. Not just recently, but after a long time. So I finally saw someone post. He was like, I gotta get rid of her. Don't really like her. And I jumped at it. And I paid $15, $10 shipping. So retail price. And I got this. She's my prized possession, guys. She is in her freaking wrapping. This is my Georgia Bloom. I have nothing to say. Like, I freaking love her. Like, ah, if you look and see what she's going for, not as much, maybe $50, $60. I paid $25, $25. Now, for her, she came with all of her stuff. She was out of box, as you could see. He, she came out of box. I knew that. She came with absolutely everything, all her accessories, you know, her clothes, her second outfit. The only reason I haven't displayed her is because she came with her stand without the piece to actually stand her up. So no waist piece. So I have to buy another stand, but her stand alone is going for $15.99. She will remain in her bag until I have an extra $15 because for some reason she needs to be on her stand. She can't be on someone else's stand. But anyway, here's my other pride and joy. My first ever purchase was not scammed. She is beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. Her outfits are beautiful. Beautiful, literally. I am so thankful to this man. So somebody, his name was Zachary, very, very kind. He kept me updated instantly, gave me tracking. I think that was another way that I kind of knew that I wasn't being scammed. First, he told me pay PayPal goods and services. That way we're both covered. And I was like, you rock. Then he gave me tracking. Literally I paid, he said he shipped it, he gave me tracking. I knew, same way with this guy, instant tracking. I didn't have to beg for it. So I, you know, I knew those were legit and both purchases very legit. So first, third purchase, squared away. So then it comes to my second purchase and there's this one doll that I've been looking for. If you saw my first Walmart haul, which I'll link in the description below, I showed Robin Sterling. And I talked about how the Rainbow High sleepover episode was like one of my favorites and I wanted all the dolls. And it took me forever to find Robin, but I got her for 20 bucks from some lady off Facebook. And then I haven't got Marissa. She's still about 50 bucks on Walmart. Don't really want to pay that, but you know, birthday, hey girl. But then Brianna, if you go look for Brianna, when I first looked for her, she was about 50, $60. And I was like, okay, let me save up. A couple months later, I went to go buy her. She was now 100 to 150 and I was like, no, no ma'am. If you look at her right now and I'll throw up pictures, she is going for 300 plus in in box. Excuse me? I didn't think so. So some lady shows me that she has her. She sent me full photos, just like this guy sent photos of her with his name, with the time, the date, everything. Same thing with this guy showed and had, you know, all the proof. She was like, pay, pay, pal, goods and services, you know, whatever. So I pay. And then it comes to the tracking. All of a sudden she doesn't message me. And I'm asking, can I get the tracking? Can I get the tracking? She's like, they didn't provide me the tracking. I, I shipped with some private company and they said that I had to pay extra to get a tracking number. And I was like, 
okay why didn't you pay you should have told me and i would have paid for that tracking number then all of a sudden she just you know went ghost never heard from her like a month you know she said oh they said it takes a month so after about a month i reached out to her she blocked me right away i got onto paypal started typing up my grievance with her instantly got my refund for my full amount so i thought i'm never gonna get her i'm never gonna get her then about a month later i see someone post hey i'm trying to get rid of this doll um just not into rainbow high anymore does anybody want her no one commented commented she was like well you and someone else are um interested the other lady said that she has to wait a couple days and i told her well i don't i got paid today i will pay you right now she was like if you pay right now she's all yours so i paid and then here she is my very own brianna she came with all her stuff i think the only thing that she is missing is her comb and her hangers which i do intend to get because i'm a completionist and i like to have everything they came with but i knew she didn't have those the lady was very clear with me i love her she sits on my little shelves she's out and displayed i even sprayed her with some little spray so she could smell good girl i love her you know i hate to say it but i paid retail for her with the price plus shipping i paid 50 dollars flat that is what she would have costed if i bought her originally when i didn't want to pay 50 dollars but i ended up paying 50 dollars so anyway <laughs> i really really love both of these i love my facebook groups i love facebook marketplace it has just been so addicting i have not bought these all at once this has been over months and months and months i have saved up i have worked hard and i have rewarded myself and i am in love again pink is not a color i like but for some reason these girls pull it off and they make it a thing that i want and i love it <laughs> so yeah i would advise that if you're into rainbow high or not just rainbow high any dolls because i've seen um groups for monster high um ever after high i've seen all kinds of different groups look into it just be safe so that's all that i have for this one i made this video a little long sorry my story got out of control but i'm very passionate about that scammer um so yeah in the comments below definitely let me know what you think have you had any experiences with facebook groups facebook marketplace anything like that or where do you get your dolls so let me know in the comments below definitely give this video a big thumbs up it helps me helps the channel make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell and we will definitely see you in the next one bye friends